Hi guys, my name is Tom and in this video I'm going to talk about solar generators or uh, I guess you could just call them portable battery banks. Uh, whatever you want to call them, they're going to provide you power on the go, whether it's for your video photo production like uh, is the case with me that's at least majority of the time how i'm using it but even if you're uh, i don't know if you're traveling uh, let's say just with your family for fun and you want to be able to still do some work maybe plug your laptops or uh, or even power your whole rv which you can do with this big big guy up here so both of the units that i have up here are from the same company it's uh, max oak and I've actually reviewed a whole bunch of their V-mount batteries for my cameras and that I also use on some of the lights. So uh, I'll link that up below. It was like two years ago or something like that that I first uh, re reviewed one of their batteries. So you guys can check that out. I kind of stumbled uh, onto their products because they were very cheap. Now, of course, once I tried it, I was also pleasantly uh, surprised that they worked very well. So uh, to this day, I'm actually using their V-mount batteries and I have... Uh, four of them uh, right now at uh, different sizes uh, and so I've been very very happy with them then uh, about six months ago I got this guy I've been using this to power like my lights and stuff like that something more like basically something that draws more power uh, and also my laptop like when I'm on the go uh, and I need to especially like when I'm out in the remote locations and let's say I need to start up my laptop to copy footage or things like that or even just do to do some video editing then I use this guy and now recently I got this. So I've had this for about a month and if, well, let me kind of, I guess, talk about the good and the bad about these products. Um, the, first, maybe I'll talk about the, the difference actually. The, the, what is the, the biggest difference? The, the, really the difference in here, as you can see, well, aside from the obvious size, like this one is much bigger here to the side and also ugh, much heavier. <laughs> so this guy's 40 pounds. This guy's only two, 12 pounds or like just over 12 pounds. Very light, as you can see, easy to, to kind of move around with it. Uh, now also the battery size. This one has a much smaller battery. It's 400 watt hours. This one is 1500 watt hours. So uh, f more than three times the, the size of this one or the capacity of the battery. Uh, now, of course, these aren't just batteries. They're, you know, that's the main component of it. They both use lithium batteries. Uh, the kind of like the latest technology. This one actually uses the, uh, I believe it's the LG batteries, like the the, the best ones, uh, the best lithium batteries right now out there that even like Tesla uses in their cars. So uh, I'm gonna provide a like, specific like all the details of what type of battery and that stuff on my website, on my po uh, basically on my post there. You guys can check it out and you'll see uh, all the detailed specs. But like I said, in in short, this one's bigger, 1500 watt hours. This one's 400 watt hours. They also have, aside from the batteries, they have uh, inverters because, as you can see, you have plugs up here, regular AC plugs. And this guy also has regular AC plugs, which are here, actually, on the other side. They will allow you to convert the batteries, which obviously store the, the power uh, in direct current to DC, and it converts it to AC current or uh, alternating current. That means that suddenly you can plug in anything that uses a, a normal uh, AC outlet. The most important thing when you're looking at the inverters is, uh, well, actually I would say two things. First, is it a pure sine wave inverter, meaning it just sends out a cleaner signal, and both of these have that, but also the capacity of the inverters. So certain inverters will be able to just convert a lot more DC power into AC, um, whereas some smaller ones will, will have a smaller capacity. So this one has a AC inverter of 300 watts. That's not to be confused with the 400 watt hours, which is the battery capacity. Because I know I did a previous video about the Energy Apex, which is another kind of these bigger, um, you know, solar basically generators or portable battery banks. And some people were getting confused there. And then they were showing me other things on Amazon or on eBay and things like that and telling me, Tom, I found a better deal because this guy has whatever, a thousand watt, you know, watts. And I'm like, no, that's the inverter size, but the battery is very small or vice versa and things like that. So anyways, 400 watt hours is the battery. 300 watts is the inverter capacity, which means that whatever you plug in here uh, into these outlets, it can draw maximum uh, all together because obviously you can you can put splitters and that's what I would do so I can plug in more than just two things up here 
uh, but maximum altogether combined draw out of this is 300 watts if you go over that you can go for a little bit like if you have some appliance so let's say it starts up and it sometimes spikes a little bit higher and goes down after you know a, a few moments then this thing will still work but if continuously you cannot draw or, or provide basically more than uh, 300 watts so just be aware of that uh, this guy on the other hand has a much more powerful inverter and that this inverter's capacity is uh, or limit is a thousand uh, thousand watts so again whatever you plug into the two ac outlets into there uh all together maximum you can you can draw out of this is 1000 watts which is a lot of power uh, and for me as a filmmaker what i'm also happy is uh, is not just how this technology with these batteries and portable battery banks and all that stuff has really kind of increased over the last few years but also just with uh, with all the gear that we use like cameras that are a lot more power efficient laptops you know you can get a nice slim book now and uh, and it's going to be able to edit 4k video no problem and it doesn't draw that much power uh and, and also the same thing with lights so lights usually you're going to be able to plug in all the lights using ac power so like i said that's where the inverter really comes in handy uh, or having a powerful inverter because uh, with this guy, I was actually been able to to power like at one one time I was using this and I had uh, five lights and they were all aperture lights and all together they were drawing a thousand watts. And one of them was a 300D uh, and uh, actually no, I had two 300Ds. I had a 120D uh, aperture light. I had I had a whole bunch of lights in there and like I said, a thousand watts I was pulling out of this. And it lasted me for an hour and uh, like 20 minutes. Now, that's not to say that the battery was dead. It actually, still, there was some more juice left in there. But basically, the inverter at that point finally just couldn't cope with it because as the um, voltage gets lower in the battery, the inverter has to work harder and has to actually crank out more, um, push out more power, more watts. So what you would actually be seeing here on the display is it was suddenly showing that I was pulling like way over a thousand watts. When in reality, when I had my kilowatt meter uh, attached, I could see that the lights were drawing the same amount of power, but the inverter needed more basically power. Um, so, so that's when this thing. So that's that's the one of the reasons why it shut down. But I still was able to turn it off, reset it, and then after that, I still able was able to run just one light, not all of them anymore, but one 120D light for another 15 minutes. Now that's like when you're really pushing it to the max. But when you're using this guy with let's say you have one of these powerful lights that I have here in the studio, which is again uh, 120D from Aperture. Uh, and uh, and I'm on my two cameras here, but I've got the lenses closed down to all the way to f5.6, uh, shooting you know regular 24 frames per second, but f1.5.6. So that just shows you with ISO of 800 only. And with those camera settings, I had my light aperture 120D and I didn't even need to have it at 100%. Like right now it's at 72%. And if you have the light around that intensity, if you just plug it into this thing, it will last you almost two days. So <laughs> that just shows you how powerful it is. And, and that's another thing I'll tell you guys also is when I, before when I reviewed like the Energy Apex, some people were saying, Oh, you know, I don't know, that's that's not enough of a battery life for me to, like, let's say, you know, over there I was doing some calculations and uh, these were just examples. And I was telling you guys that if you have your lights blasting at 100%, then obviously that's when it's going to draw the most amount of power. But with the second you drop your light intensity to like 70%, it actually draws like around 50% or even less than that, depending on the lights. Uh, of power and if you drop your light to 50% intensity then suddenly the, the, the draw the amount of power draw that it requires is substantially like basically exponentially drops down and that's the the good thing about these new LED lights that we have now uh, so like I said don't think of it just like like when I tell you that you know when I had in the worst case scenario <laughs> I guess you could say when I had all all of these five powerful lights all plugged in at once yes it lasted an hour and 20 minutes but that's in like the worst case scenario uh whereas you know with any v-mount battery or anything like that i mean you you wouldn't even get probably 20 minutes whereas um, if you just plug in uh let's say a single light 
or two lights, but you don't put them at 100%, and like I said, you will have this for two days, it will last you. Now, of course, that's if you just simply are drawing power out of this and you don't ever recharge it, but of course you can recharge it. So both of these come with the standard AC wall uh, uh, adapter, plug it in and you can charge these. Uh, so that's one good thing. And then um, uh, if they're called solar generators because you can re regenerate the power or recharge the, these batteries using solar. And that's how I've been using it a lot of times. Uh, it, for one, one of the reasons is actually because the well the, the inverter or the charger that comes with these will charge the you know from the AC outlet. But uh, there's a there's a limit that it that it can basically draw. But if you have a lot of power that you can put into, like this one for example can accept. 60 volts of solar uh, up to 500 watts so you can put in uh, like a pretty decent solar you know uh, uh, array panel array and and then that means that you can actually charge this guy in about three hours uh, if you're like really maximize it and you have you know full sun e even less than three hours so meaning that uh you know during a normal day if you have like i said partially sun partially cloud you'll be able to charge it as no problem it might take then five six hours but uh basically just leave leave your panels out there plug it in and it will recharge this guy for you and that's also one of the cool things about this is that then let's say if you are maybe out in a remote location maybe you're even camping with your camera gear but you still obviously need to be able to charge your your cameras your batteries uh your you be able to power let's say your laptops so you can copy footage and things like that well, you can use this guy safely and then uh, during the day just recharge it. And even while you're charging it is using solar or AC, but if you're charging it obviously using solar, uh, you can still use all the capacity of that battery. So it's just basically then uh, I'm going to show you here on the display. Uh, maybe actually let me start this, these guys up so you can kind of see how, how it looks here. So both of them have nice little handy display. And they all uh, both actually operate very similarly. So they have the main power on switch and then they have AC and DC power on switches as you can see here uh, and that just simply means that if you just turn it on it will just show you the basically the you know the capacity of the battery so it shows you like a nice icon and then actually in the percentage but then it also shows you here on the top how much you're pulling um, what's your basically thing if uh, how much you're putting into the batteries I mean so input so if you're have a AC wall adapter or of a like I said solar uh, charger uh, solar panels for charging it then it will show you how much is going in and then here you have your DC and AC the same thing up here you have how much you have going in and then DC and AC is basically how much is being drawn so um, what, what I mean by that is for example let's say you have something plugged into the, the car cigarette light adapter like on this one or one of the USB here uh, ports which is obviously DC or for example on this guy you also have here uh, your DC ports here so you also have your um, you have a 12 volt max out like a D DC basically plug uh, you also have C fast uh, or type C USB connection um, you have another here DC plug you have your standard USB uh, connections but they're uh, 5 volts and three and a half amps max so they are actually they're gonna quick charge a lot of the stuff so again if you turn on the DC and then you, uh, this will basically power any of these plugs up here, or in this case, on this one, any of them ones up here. These are all DC. Uh, and then you, you'll be able to draw power from there, and then it's going to show you here how much is being, t uh, basically, how many watts it's pulling. So then, while let's say you're charging this using solar, uh, and also using it to power your, or let's say recharge your batteries or your laptop or your phones, then it will just show you basically how much you're putting in, how many watts, and how many watts is going out. And if it, let's say, is the same, then that means you're not really changing the the, the you know the capacity of this battery. But let's say, for example, if you're uh, putting in more power than you're really taking out, then you could actually be still recharging your battery while you, at the same time you're uh, if providing power to you again, your laptops, your battery chargers, whatever things like that. So that's something you can keep in mind is that, yes, you can charge it while you're using it at the same time. And the same thing with the, uh, the AC. So if you just simply press and hold the AC uh, button up here, it will turn on the AC inverter. Same thing on this guy. And, and then your AC plugs here, or the ones here on the back of this guy, 
will be will be activated powered now the ac i would say you don't want to turn it on unless you're actually going to be plugging something in there because the second you turn it on it actually is going to be drawing a little bit of power because the ac inverters there's always a little bit of basically energy less as you take dc and you convert it to ac power and so with any inverter i don't care how good it is and these ones are actually very efficient they're like over 90 percent efficiency when i was testing out these so meaning you're losing less than 10 percent of power uh, while you come you know in the process of converting it which is actually very good there's many uh, out there <laughs> ac uh, to, or dc to ac inverters that are uh, of a lot worse than that uh, so that's a good thing now another really cool thing these guys have is like i said you can charge it obviously using the solar but for, to, in order to charge, you need to have what's called a charge controller, and both of them, ha both of these guys, have them built in there, and the, they're both MPPT uh, charge controllers, which are a lot more efficient uh, than like the latest technology of these. Meaning that most of the power that's actually coming from your solar, uh, you know, panels is actually being used and uh, to recharge the battery, and it just does it a lot more efficiently, a lot f uh, faster. Now on this guy, you plug your uh, solar panels using here, this port on the other side, and uh, there's actually a whole bunch of, well, this is a cable that comes with this box, uh, with this battery bank, and it's, uh, again, you can you have the standard solar panel MC4 connectors here, and then you have your DC plug, and you just plug this guy up here, and you plug this to your solar panels, or you know your solar panel ar array, or it could just be a single panel. This guy comes with a whole bunch of cables, <laughs> so I'm, I will show you kind of quickly what it comes with. So you have your, like I said, standard AC adapter, which this guy also has that, and then it has this solar panel uh, charger cable. But this guy also comes with um, a cigarette light adapter. So if you, for example, want to uh, power your, let's say, you know, whatever devices that use your uh, cigarette lighter, then again, you have that, even though it doesn't have a built-in cigarette lighter like this guy here. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, you, you can still use it, just you plug in this cable. You also have your here solar cable. So again, you have this thing, the MC4, standard uh, solar panel basically cable plugs and then oh man, sorry it's a mess here <laughs> too many cables and then basically on the other side you have this thing and you plug it in here and boom again you're ready to charge this and some of the other cables that you get here are uh, this thing for example this thing is really cool actually <laughs> came in handy once uh, you plug this in you have a special port up here when you plug it in once you plug it in, you'll see actually these little lights here uh, flashing. But basically now this is going to be active and you put this onto your car's battery and you can jumpstart your car because that's how powerful this battery is. Uh, you also have this thing which allows you to plug it into here and you can actually plug this battery while you're driving in your car and you're basically just using your car's alternator plug it into your cigarette, you know, 12 volt out uh, plug in your car and you can charge this battery uh, this way, which is really, really cool. Now this one doesn't come with that. Uh, so like I said, this one you can charge using AC, uh, obviously adapter, uh, the solar or the, the, the car, uh, basically cigarette lighter. This one you can technically only charge uh, like right out of the box using the, uh, the solar or using the AC adapter that comes with it. Uh, you cannot, again, technically right away charge it using a, a car, uh, basically your car's inverter, unless you buy a little, like a car DC to AC inverter. Uh, and then you can just plug in the AC adapter, uh, the AC basically charger for this, to your uh, to your inverter in your car. So then you could actually technically be, be doing that. But again, that's not something that's not included in this. There, those things are cheap though. You can get them for like 20, 30 bucks um, online. So if anything, I'll, I'll po provide again info about that on my website. So if you guys want to check it out, uh, like which ones would, would work with this uh, with this guy. But this one, that, that's what I like is that it is smaller, smaller battery capacity and the inverter obviously is smaller, only 300 watts, but it's still plenty of power to like power my laptop and things like that. And like I said, it has all these extra cables and things things like that that it has included. 
this guy obviously the biggest thing about it is that it's just bigger bigger battery capacity a lot more powerful inverter a lot more powerful you know the solar charge controller like i said you can put up you know you can input 500 watts of solar so you can recharge this guy even though it's a, such a big battery you can recharge it really quickly and actually what i do like up here in the front is that it also has like has your standard usb you know connections and then there are three amps um if, if you, that you can plug into these uh at five volts uh, but then it also has even a 45 watt uh, USB type C connection and what that means is that you can power your like you know most of the new laptops or, or notebooks are going to be using USB type C so you can use that to actually power your whole laptop and, and recharge it just again using that one plug so then in that case you wouldn't even need to use your your laptops AC inverter and then plug it into the AC it plugs up here and turn on the you know inverter which like I said whenever you're doing that there's a little bit of power loss in between so you don't need to do that and that's the the, the good thing about it so uh, overall I'm very happy about these two guys like I said uh, this one by the way if you're wondering what the model name is it's a uh, blue Eddy uh, that's that's at least what they named it but uh, I think that's the, the name of the model because it still says Max Oak so uh, it is still the same company. This one it just says Max Oak. That's it. it doesn't say anything else. Uh, but yeah, this is, like I said, the same company. And it's what's really cool now is kind of seeing more and more of these companies coming on the market. Because, for example, like my, the previous solar uh, generator that I showed, which was the, the Energy Apex, which is still great and I still use it. Uh, but that one, when I bought it, it was much more expensive. Like the regular price was two thousand dollars, and now it's dropped down significantly. I think it's like around fourteen hundred bucks. Plus, I also have a discount code if you guys want. Uh, you, can, you can get that if you look at the, the review of that one. But this one, uh, actually, I think is one of the reasons why it, the price of the, the Energy Apex dropped down. is Because when these guys came out, they were offering an even bigger battery than an Energy Apex. And, uh, you know, they were offering it for a much lower price. So, right now it's around, uh, is it $1,300? So... Uh, again check it out if there's any like coupons or discounts that I can provide again I'll provide that all on my website so head on over there tomatosfilms.com save yourself some money get some, these cool battery banks and uh, so you can keep on rocking keep on working uh, it doesn't matter where you are whether you have a wall outlet or not uh, you, you can you can now easily basically I said power your laptops your lights uh, your cameras and and anything else really that you want to power uh, so take a look at these guys. Uh, again, all the info, specs, and any discounts on my website, tomantosfilms.com. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!